how to promote industry whilst protecting the environment. Ghana's industrial sector is growing around 10% every year. Good news for the economy, bad news, some believe, for the environment. The challenges maybe basically will be related to pollution issues. You're looking at water pollution from industrial activities, you're looking at air pollution, and um, with the growth of industrialization, there's also a growth in population, and the demand on the natural resources is higher also. The Ghanaian government says management of industrial waste is a major concern but it needs to balance safeguarding the environment with growing the economy. That means investing in clean and renewable sources of energy to power businesses as well as homes. One of those energy sources is solar power. It's not a new technology to Ghana, but it has been slow to be taken on because of perceived high costs of installation and maintenance. It's something that the government wants to address to make this clean energy more cost effective. A new pilot scheme by the Energy Commission might help. It's called net meterage. It offsets a business's or home's use of power from the national grid. With that, it gets from solar panels. You have only one meter, which is a net meter or a reversible meter. It reads backwards and forward. During the day, if you put your solar panel on your rooftop or on your commercial uh, place and it's producing electricity, the meter reads in, uh, the other way. When in the evening you are taking from the grid, it reads the opposite direction. And the idea is that to let people um, save a cost on electricity. It means that at the end of the month or the, at the end of the year, it can even come that you are not paying anything because we are looking at the net. For now, the scheme is mainly aimed at homes and small businesses. For industry, larger scale renewable energy sources are needed. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology is helping develop a power plant that creates energy through burning waste wood materials. The interest, investment and equipment is there to set it up, but long-term sustainability is still a concern. The challenge is later on to operate the plant. So that means that you have the right stuff which has the skills to, to maintain it all the time, to look forward, what kind of uh, spare parts do you, have, do you need to operate still the plant and uh, to fulfill the logistic uh, challenges you will face. Ghana's renewable energy sector isn't short of investors. More than 40 companies, Ghanaian and international, are currently looking at developing large-scale renewable energy facilities across the country. Katrina Vatotsi, CCTV, Accra.